God is going to hold the church accountable. There have been people who have been running around with demonic spirits inside them. People who have been filled with, 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 with demons and under demonic oppression. And they have not been able to get delivered or healed. People who do not know the word have not been able to be equipped to go out and do what they're supposed to do. Because see, Jesus Christ appointed the church to set the captives free. And I look on every corner, almost on every corner, there's a church sitting there. People who have gotten their titles have, uh, you know, exploited God's name and gotten used his, his name to get resources and benefits for themselves and have not done what they're supposed to do. They, they can, you know, hold fundraisers for the community and, you know, put on shows and, and give out things and put a show on and do that. But when it comes to actually setting the captives free, are you healing and delivering them? Are you going around the communities and, and preaching the word to the people? Are you praying down demonic principalities and strongholds that are over cities and nations? You see, if you were doing these things, God would not have had me do it. And you see, for my entire life, I had set in a bondage because my father was putting curses on me. He was oppressing me, put a lot of demons inside of me and offered me up to Satan. And my mother didn't know what was going on with me. Not only that, another woman who could not get deliverance and healing was casting her birds for me, her and her family. They were transferring spirits to me. And I did not know this. It took me a long time until I became almost 29 years old for the Lord to show me all of this stuff. And I had to fight for my deliverance and my freedom. Freedom. And I got that healing, deliverance, and freedom, but this woman continued to keep casting her burdens upon me. Let me tell you, today I woke up this morning, and I was able to, to clean my entire small apartment. I was able to mop all the floors and, and, and clean my entire bathroom. I got it done in less than a half an hour. Since I've been living in this apartment, I moved in this apartment in August of 2022. Clean up this entire apartment has always taken me about two hours. And that's because someone had been transferring their burdens upon me. All my life, I kept wondering why I'd have periods where I'm productive, where I'm able to work and, and hold a job and do things and exercise and lose weight and, and do all these things with my children. But then I'd have periods where I'm oppressed and I feel like I'm, I, I can't do anything. I can't hold a job or uh, all of a sudden I, I can't exercise or all of a sudden I'm eating all this junk when I, I, I was originally eating healthy. And like I said, this, the Lord was showing me how this woman was putting all her burdens by me and he was leading all these people to me because these people cannot get the help in the church. And see, God has appointed many people. He has appointed you to, to, to deal with a lot of things. To, to you're sitting in the churches, you have your titles. You know you were appointed, you're using God's name, you're on jobs in different, all these different uh, sectors. You're in these jobs in different industries and you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And now he has to put the burdens on me and, and a few select people like me. I should not have been fighting against the things that's going on with foster care. I should not have been going around all the communities trying to get all of God's people who are in oppressed out of bondage and fighting against sorcerers and witchcraft and bringing down all these principalities all over the cities and neighborhoods. And then now as a result, fighting against, you know, things happening in the schools and having my children retaliated against to the point they're attacking my kids in the schools, taking my kids out of schools. God had appointed people in leadership positions, people who have been sitting inside the church, who have held his titles and positions. They've known the Lord for years since I was a little girl. People were appointed to deal with this stuff. And since you were rebellious, you were stuck in your own ways. You wanted to walk in your own sins and, and, and be led by your own flesh and rebellion and do what you wanted to do. You looked down on other people. You had a form of, uh, of righteousness. You were not holy. You were not walking in God's spirit. You were self-righteous. You looked down on people like myself and my mother because see, my mother was very, very poor. We were very poor in the church. So they refused to help us. Not only that, my mother was handicapped. She has one full hand with five fingers in the other hand. She only has two, a thumb and, a, and, and, and one finger on there. And, and she's handicapped basically. But no one would help her because the Lord showed me they thought, oh, she can't be used by God because she's handicapped. What can she do? But you know, God had a ministry for her. He had a calling on her life and anointing. But since the church did not help her and they looked down on her and they were they were having respecters of persons, which it talks against in the Bible, you're not supposed to do this. But the church is is is, is it's known for doing this, looking down on someone who has, you know, not much money or, or dresses a certain way that they, they, they don't look, they're not dressed in array and splendor and all flamboyant and they don't have all this money to tie and get to the church so you don't help them you look down on them and you ignore them but you go out there to the one who got money and you praise them and give them all the blessings and god did not appoint them i sat in the church in bondage you could not get help because they looked down on my mother and they refused to help me 
And it wasn't only done to me. It was done to a lot of people. And this is why people are sitting around today cannot get their help. And these people were appointed to do something for God's kingdom, but you would not equip them. You would not help them. You would not pray for them. You would not heal them. You would not deliver them. And you're still, there's still people who are sitting out here on the streets, sitting out here in the world who cannot get saved. They cannot be out freed out of their bondage because the church is too into themselves. You're worried about your own money. You're worried about your own ego. You're filled with pride. You're worried about all the cares of the world, what you want to do for you and yourself and your family, your household, your little community, your little network. You want to be admired. You want to be idolized. But you're worrying about all the things that God is not worried about. And he says, and in, in, in the end of the day, you think, you really think that you're going to get into his kingdom. You really think you're going to get there. Because I'm telling you right now, he has used me. Stuff that I wasn't even supposed to be dealing with. And then you get mad and wonder why sometimes I, I don't know how to, 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 to deal rightfully with certain situations. And I'm not doing it the way I want to. I've never gotten any training, okay? I didn't have the, the pleasure, the, 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 the opportunities to go and, and get a, a theology degree. Because they were attacking me and oppressing me. I didn't have the liberty when I went inside the church to try to study to get my, my, my ministry, my license in my ministry. They were attacking me in the church. See, you see, I, I didn't have all that. I had to learn from the Holy Spirit. He's throwing all these things on me, burdens and, and things that I wasn't supposed to deal with because it's supposed to be spread amongst the church. But since the church who he's appointed and equipped to do this has failed to do what they're supposed to do, God had to throw everything on me and my family and because I was willing and I was obedient unto him. And he's teaching me and showing me things as I go along. But, you know, it's like it's overwhelming sometimes, but I still go to God and it's like he's going to deal with you. Because you did not do what he told you to do. And as a result, I lost my entire life. Because a woman had been casting her burdens for me my entire life. My children lost theirs. The church refused to help us. The church refused to help people who were out here struggling, who needed someone to help them. You were not, if you were doing what you were supposed to do, like I said, there's a church on every corner. Are you, are you, are you, are you, do you have a deliverance ministry? Are you casting out devils out of these people? There shouldn't be people running around mentally ill and oppressed and, and, and you, you go to the world and let the world take over. You, you, you're, you're now conforming and compromising with the, going in the ways of the world and, and you're not standing up. I, I, I recently saw a video where a, a man, a young boy, only 19 years old, stood up for his rights and, and talked about how his rights was because, you know, they were talking about same sex marriages and all those things. He stood up for his rights and he ended up resigning. He was able to lose his job and walk away from being a police officer. But there are many of you who today cannot do that. If a 19 year old boy can, can, can do this and stand up for what he believes and he is not compromising, but you sit in the church and you compromise because you want your money, because you want your status, you want your fame, you want your, your book, uh, you want all of your royalties and your, your, your book agreements and contracts. You want to get the, the, you want to get the record deal. You want to get all this stuff. You want to be famous. You want to be popular. But Jesus Christ was not popular. They did not like him. And he said, if you're me, I was hated. The world hated me. And they might hate you because they hated me first. But you want to be accepted by the world. You want to compromise. You don't want to help the people who need to be helped. And this is why you can't walk in authority. You're not able to cast out the devils. You're not able to preach captivity and set the captives free and preach liberty to those who would need to hear. You're not able to convict them when they're in their sins. You're not able to equip the church to go out there and do what they need to do. And this is why God had to go to people like me who are outside. I don't have my title. I didn't sit inside the church getting taught anything. The Holy Spirit had to come to me. I was supposed to live a life where I was supposed to have been writing books and helping young ladies. But since you all didn't do what you're supposed to have done. Yes, you all. A lot of you sitting up in this church today. A lot of you watching my videos with this self-righteous Pharisee spirit. Looking at everything I do want to point your finger at me and get mad. But you're not sitting out here doing what you're supposed to do. God would never have had to put all these people in this burdens upon me or my children if you were doing what you're supposed to have done. And you're still living in your rebellion. You're still sitting in your sins. You're still compromising. You're still being disobedient. And the world wouldn't be the way it is now where the government has taken over everything. If you have been doing what you're supposed to have done. If you have been walking in his Holy Spirit and not compromising and living in your flesh and sinning and doing everything you want to do. And he is going to deal with you. You really think you're going to heaven? You really think you're going to enter into his kingdom? He's going to tell you on that very last day of judgment. He's going to tell you, depart from me. I do not know you.